Keyword XP is a tool for querying Google Suggest and Amazon Suggest for finding long tail keywords, which are great um, for getting buyer traffic. So all you do is type in your uh, keyword and click on search and immediately it comes back with the best suggested words for that keyword or for that root keyword. And then what you can do is by double clicking any of these um, particular keywords so like content curation sites, it will drill down further and expand them and show you um, other keywords that are very similar to that that people are actually searching on. So not only did it come back with content curation sites, but it also came back with best content curation sites and top content curation sites. And the reason they're at the top of the bottom is this list is currently in alphabetical order. Um, and you can sort it in reverse order um, or you can sort it according to volume. Now the volume that comes back is uh, what Google is suggesting is the number of queries for that keyword. It's not related to the Google Keyword Tool and there's no link between the two whatsoever but it does give you a strong indication of which particular keyword has a higher volume than another one and sometimes it will even come back with no data indicating that either Google's just not returning any volume data that day or there is insufficient data on that particular keyword but doesn't mean that people are not searching for it. Now then what you can do is um, instead of searching on just suggested you can ask it to search on alphabetical and what that will do is query Google again but it will try every possible alphabetical combination keeping content curation in the keyword. So you can see now it's come back with a huge list of long tail keywords that people are actually searching on um, and these are the keywords that attract you know, buyers and you can see uh, exactly what types of things they're looking for. And you can take these keywords and if you title your blog posts with these keywords, especially the long tail ones, um, you'll find they rank very, very easily because there's very little competition and you will get traffic. Um, the second thing you can do is not just query on Google, you can also query on Amazon. And what you can do is switch here from normal to what's called e-commerce and that will query Amazon for the same types of keywords. I'll, because Amazon has a smaller database of products, I will actually just shorten that to curation. And you can see straight away, um, these are the words that Amazon is returning. And notice that these are now more buyer keywords because obviously what's on Amazon is actually products that people are buying every day. And um, obviously it's not necessarily to do with content curation, but this particular one is a very famous book um, called Curation Nation. So once you have um, your keywords, what you can do is actually ask Keyword XP to look at the competition levels for those words. So if I reset my list and go back to searching on content curation, then I can look at these keywords. Let's expand that one. I can highlight a set of keywords and then I can click on check competition and what that will go and do is look at which keywords have a low level of in title and in URL competition. So immediately I can see that um, in fact these long tail keywords, the content curation tool has a high level of traffic and content curation WordPress has a high level of traffic. Yet the number of sites competing for those keywords are literally 93 sites um, and 6 and 1. So I think you can see um, very quickly that it's going to be very easy to get a, a blog post ranked for those keywords in no time at all. That's Keyword XP. Yeah.